Oh, excuse me. I'm Maud Frickert. Herb Nelson. Who? Herb Nelson. I was in an artillery unit, although I was a nurse during the First War. I'm sorry that I interrupted you, but I'm just kind of cruising around the factory here, trying uh -huh. to find a stud like yourself. And what are we working on here? We're working on the fan blades. On the fan blades? Yes. Boy, on a hot summer night, you could cool your you room know, like bet that. You could. You That's bet. out of sight. Yep. Yep. Check How come it. all the numbers? Are you a little short upstairs? You got to remember. A little of both. Huh? Is a that... little of both. But that... <laughs> I love you, Herb. Let's... You got bursitis? That no, do anything not yet. for you? Not yet. Not not yet. Help, so. oh, I hope mean, so. Good. Keep yeah. it up, even without bursitis. <laughs> You're cute. How old are you? Uh, Take 62. Your time. 62. Yeah. Well, I'm 87, but I've been through eight guys. Oh, oh yeah. The body's not bad, you know. It's no, you know, Mount Rushmore, but yeah. uh, I've had presidents. At any rate, uh, listen, uh, let me ask you something now. Yes, sir. Uh, I notice you wear glasses and you look like you're, you know, you're, you're in good shape, 62. Uh -huh. How long you been working here at uh, United Technologies? Uh, 33 years, sir. 33 on, years? Yes. Isn't that great? Yes. You know, you must have come into some heavy bread. A little bit. I bet you have. At United Technologies, you get more than your pay. You can count on it. Welcome to the United Technologies Plans Room. What do you think we keep here? Production plans? Profit plans? Not in here. These are your plans, oh yes. Yes indeed, old United Technologies has plans just for you. Big plans for life's little surprises. Health care, disability benefits, life insurance, dental care, savings, retirement plan. I'm not an authority on all these, you understand. We do have experts for that. People who will help explain your dental plan. Afterburners are shot. Your health care benefits. <laughs> your disability benefits. You look like a land crab. <laughs> your retirement plan. Whew, boy. Your life insurance plan. Don't. Oh, someone let its little terrier go. <laughs> and the savings plan. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Waiting for us right now is our health care authority, Dr. S. P. Noble. Dr. Noble here, S. P. Noble, stands for semi-private. Allow me to introduce Betty McClinton, who just went back to work after serious spinal surgery. Hmm, yes, you're an attractive lady. Uh, are you married, uh, Betty? Yes, I am. I'll be darned. <laughs> what about your uh, surgery? Can you tell us something uh, of what happened to you, my dear? Well, I had the fourth disc uh, worked on. Would you hold up uh, the four? That's important for us. <laughs> the four, Good yes. for you. That tells me that you've got something here going and something back there. <laughs> but what about your uh, surgery? How much did it cost you, by the way? $5,100. $5,100. Who paid for that? Well, United Technology Healthcare Plan did. Yeah, they, they took care of the entire thing? Just about. They paid just about 100% of it. What was the nurse like? Uh, do you remember her, the, the nurse that came in to visit you from time to time? Yes, I had a 25-year-old male nurse. I'll be darned. Migrant worker. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Betty, did you know that the plan pays full costs for in-hospital services for up to 365 days? Yes, I do, and they also pay for surgical and emergency treatment. She thinks that I didn't know that. Hmm. I want you to see this, Betty. You can take this home with you. Normally, I keep this here at desk side. Here's an actual chart of one employee's expenses after open heart surgery. Came out fine, and he's back to work. Isn't that something? The health care plan paid 92% of the cost, just a figure that you mentioned here just a short time ago, over $25,000. Now, that's a health plan. You know. you know, we all count on being able to work out a full career, 
But the unexpected can happen any day, like disabling illness or injury that keeps you out of work. What you need then is a continued source of income, and United Technologies has a fine plan. I'm Elwood P. Suggins. I work for the company just like a fellow down the road does, Delbert Gene Stemmler. If I act like I'm in a little pain, it's because I am. I, I had kind of a tragic accident happen to me. And uh, like I say, we, we took to bird watching. Is that what, uh, did I tell you that? Well, that's what we, we, we were dead. I used to, I can't now because we're holed up here in this apartment. But uh, me and Dell went on out to the forest out here. I don't know, north of here somewhere. So I don't know the forest by name. The minute you see tall trees, that's a forest, ain't it? And uh, we went up into the trees and uh, we wanted to see what was. we was told at least the booklet that we bought down there at the store uh, said that these was the last of the condors. And so we got up, I was halfway up, and I know I didn't, I couldn't look to him and see, he, he was a tree away from me. I was halfway up when I had to go around a bobcat. I knew then, I, you know, bird watching was, was really out. I have to keep moving, you know, circulation, otherwise it goes right to the head and you're gone. Uh, and that I went around this bobcat and went on up to the top. And I seen what I thought was a condor. And I hauled over to Dale. I said, Dale, Dale, it's a condor. It's one of the two. I believe it was a female. They fly slower. It's what the book said. And it wasn't, though. It was a hang glider. <laughs> Kid took me right out of the tree, just like that. And I went down, I suppose, a good hundred foot. They was campers. And thank God they was stout campers because they broke my fall. And then they dispersed because they thought it was a miracle. They'd seen something, they'd been drinking. And uh, they dispersed and I got in their pickups and, and went away. Luckily, I was covered by that disability plan. Of course, the money's coming in, you know, that's that's the important thing. It's coming in fairly regularly and that's that's all that matters, you know, that they, they've taken care of me. I just won't go to bird watching right away, I don't think so. Maybe I'll lay off for a year at least. And once you've seen a condor, you've seen one, and you've seen them all. People think about insurance in dollars, and that's right. But maybe the real measure is something else. Security for your family, protection for the ones you love, and peace of mind for you. You can't put a price tag on that, no matter who's picking up the payments. Hey, excuse me, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, is, is anyone sitting here in the mint chair? No, would you like to say Oh, how sweet. How sweet of you. I suppose I should take my chapeau off, as the French say. <laughs> of course, they lost. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Leslie Fitzpuffin. Originally from Somerset, England. And your first name is? My name is Merley. Merley. Merley, how sweet. Yes, I, I knew a Merley in Northumberland. She jumped off a cliff uh, in full medieval dress. It's rather strange. I don't think it was drugs. I just think it was a matter of uh, life and death. Speaking of life and death, do you know anything of life insurance that they have here, the possibilities of life insurance? Yeah, we have a very good life insurance here at the company. Decent policy, is oh, it? Oh, very good policy. You really? Very good, yes. Uh -huh. how, do you, how do you pay in so much, or is it just completely Oh, no. The company, uh, to... the company pays the uh, whole amount. Well, company pays the yeah, whole sure amount? Yeah. Very sweet company. What about accidental death? Uh, you, I'm sorry, your name? Angela. Angela, nice to meet you, nice my to dear. Meet you also. I, uh, I wouldn't ask you about the accidental death thing. Do you know anything? Yes, they the, have accidental death coverage also. They do? Yes, we have that here. I suppose if you fell off the building, and you'd be paid for it, I, I, I would hope. I would consider that an accident, wouldn't you? I would consider that also an act of God, <laughs> if you survived, <laughs> considering this building is bloody big. Oh, 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 don't. Oh, someone let its little terrier go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I want to ask about um, survivor benefits. Do any of you can help me out on survivor benefits? Yes, we, we have that. The company has its survivor benefits. What, uh, what are survivor benefits? Just the fact that you get through the day or...? Well, <laughs> no, we have the two plans, which one is if, you have, if there's a spouse. A spouse. Right. Yes. And the other is if there's no spouse but children. But children. Right. Uh -huh. How sweet. Well, I think that I've, uh, I've got all the information I really need. I can't thank you enough, Angela, and you, of course, Tex, 
and and uh, we also have business trip insurance business trip insurance what uh, would you care to go to LA for the day <laughs> <laughs> something of that I was just I was just kidding you know and at United Technologies you see a lot of smiling faces and those smiles are helped along by a terrific dental plan that includes a whole well I'll let you see just how good it is hello there out there in uh, Toothland I'm Dr. T. Ferry. That's Dr. Tooth Ferry. <laughs> this is Mr. Mead, incidentally, and Mrs. Mead. And these are all the little Meads. Apparently, you two have been kissing a lot because <laughs> we have uh, one, two, three, four, and you're uh, due for another child, as I understand it, in September. Right. Hmm. Mr. Mead, uh, do you have all of your teeth? No. No. Some have been dismissed. Right. I see, by way of the... Hmm? Uh -huh, pliers. <laughs> I see, yes, in the old days. Yes. I remember a man stood on me for an hour and just uh, took a regular Black & Decker and... <laughs> <laughs> drove it clear out. <laughs> uh, tell us a little about the uh, dental plan within the, uh, within the uh, company uh, that, you, that you're excited about. I take the kids in every six months and they have the complete checkup with the x-rays and the tooth cleaning and the fluoride treatment and since it's all paid for I feel like I can afford to do it every six months and keep them from getting the bad cavities or the, the teeth growing in on top of each other like they would if I didn't. If they have to have an extraction or fillings and the dentist bill is reasonable they pay pretty much all of it and so it saves me a fortune. I don't have to um, put out of my pocket tons of money every six months. We get the bills in. Uh, I look at it, and it costs $35 for having the kids go in for the preventative part. And you can see that's $140. And without the insurance, I don't know how I would pay for it. In fact, the kids probably wouldn't be going to the dentist without it. And I think it's probably the best thing we got. Long-term security for you and your family comes in many ways at United Technologies, including a savings plan that makes you and the company partners all the way to the bank. With us today to explain the program is that eminent economist, Professor Eric Steffenhauser. I am really interested, I'm not kidding, as to what is happening here with United Technologies and their savings development program. I hope I'm saying that right. I had asked uh, board members to be here today and um, people of United Technologies, but they are at work. But one man is allowed to come and talk with me. Now I shall sit down and I will introduce you, 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 wherever you are, whatever you're doing. This is Mr. Achari, Mr. Phil Achari. Tell us a little about yourself, Phil. Uh, I have approximately 19 years ago I started with a company and I'm a material coordinator now. Uh, I order parts for our solid rocket boosters. Oh, the boosters. How many years have you been married? 36 years. 36. A long time. We have a saying, you know, in Swiss, which means down the slope with the dope. <laughs> it's a... Uh, listen, uh, tell me what, uh, you of course have a tremendous uh, plan here, a savings plan with United That's Technologies. Right. Well, tell me a little about it. How did they help you? How did you help them? Well, well we're allowed to save up to 6% of our gross earnings, and the company matches uh, 50 cents to every dollar we put in. That's uh, what we call a pretty good shake. The retirement, when you retirement, you, uh, you, uh, you mustn't draw out uh, in between, is that correct? I mean, otherwise it lowers or fluctuates. That's right. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta let it lay there. Well, you don't have to. You don't you have got, to. You got options, but uh, I'm gonna keep it in there. Yeah. You can't you, beat it. You've done well. You can't beat it. I like that. I would print that if I was a director. I would print that. You can't beat it. Boy. And speaking of great plans, Let's uh, take a look at what's happening to Maud back there on the assembly line. Maud? I, I, want to, I just wanted to uh, ask you uh, about your pension plan. Yes. C can you fill me in about Oh, a little bit, yes. It's all paid by the company. And uh, with uh, 
when I retire with my uh, Social Security and the company's pension plan of approximately uh, 14000 a year. 14000 Boy, we could have a little something going right out there in the waters, couldn't we, huh? <laughs> Body's on fire when you talk about that kind of grain. Uh-huh. Uh, well, tell me now, uh, what are chances of of you and I kind of getting a GI loan or something and getting a small trailer, maybe an old streetcar uh, that's obsolete, you uh, know, that know porcupines it. aren't chewing on. Yeah, Maud, but... Uh, what? What are you just, going for? Well, Easy. No, no, Maud, oh, but look okay. at... Look at uh, take my life or something. Well, no, Maud, but look at that sweet wife and well, I'm those sorry. grandchildren there. You I can hardly to... make them out. Well... Did you say sweet wife? Yes, sir. Oh, that kind of puts a damper 36 on years. Does she touch her hair? Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> All of us do. Yeah. I touch mine gray. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice, and these, are these the grandchildren? Yes, they are, oh, Maud. Oh, you're pretty well nailed in. Yes. Yes. Well, there you goes can, the benefits well, for me. I know it, but you can understand how... Oh, surely, yeah, surely. You stayed to... married all this time? Yes, sir. It's a bummer. I was so close. Until the wallet came out. <laughs> Take care of yourself. <laughs> nice to meet hurt you, you? No, not bad, <laughs> boy. You used to bring them to their feet. Oh, yeah, well... Had a man in overalls the other night. Went uh -huh. right to the floor. Oh, I see. Yeah, you take care. Thank you, Mark. God love you and thanks. count the blade. Yes, thanks for stopping by. My staff of experts never even got to the vacation plan or paid holidays or personal time off. But all the information is covered in full in the booklets you have. My thanks to the real United Technologies employees who appeared in this film for making it so much fun. I wish it could have been longer. And please take old Jonathan's advice. Make certain that you take full advantage of all the plans. They add up to benefits programs that are among the finest in the business. United Technologies is a good place to work. You can count on it.